Hey there, Game Dude Matt, back again. It's been a little while since I've uploaded a video. I made that quick, you know, easy to make PSP package video. Just something to shoot on the fly, basically. But I'm finally able to get back to making videos like I want to. Before I do that, I decided I'd make this a quick little update, kind of let you know what I've been up to and everything. It's been about two months since I've been in the full swing of things, you know. And uh, again, like I said, I'm, I'm back. I'm finally back making videos and so forth, and I've made time for all of it, so just uh, stick around and I'll catch you up to speed. Okay, I'm going to get this going real quick. I don't know if you can tell, that's a new TV. <laughs> I'll get into that in just a moment. Well, <clears throat> excuse me there. Basically, you know, two months ago, I went on like a week-long staycation. You know, I didn't really go anywhere, but I took a... It was actually about nine days off and yeah during that time I actually got a quite a few pickups going on here let's see where to start well why not this TV uh, <clears throat> a couple days into my staycation uh, found out that my uncle was moving actually my mistake he was just uh, cleaning out his house you know it was kind of messy and basically for the most part he was just getting rid of everything and just starting completely over and um, you know he was telling me that anything that he didn't really care about that he was probably gonna throw out that I could have and uh, yeah right here this beastly 36 inch CRT TV it's a uh, it's got that flat glass which I kind of like the bubble screen better, but that's okay. It looks great. And um, yeah, it's about four inches bigger than the last two TVs that I've had. So that was, it's pretty cool. You know, real good size and everything. And I just, I just like CRT TVs. But oh my lord, this thing is heavy. Heavy TV. I would not be surprised if it's somewhere in the 300 pound range. Okay. I also came across this nice little plug and play right here with uh, Namco Arcade Classics. It's actually actually a pretty nice plug and play. I'm going to walk over there real quick to show you what I'm talking about. Like uh, the buttons and everything, they're not exactly, you know, arcade match, you know, they're not literally arcade buttons, but they are about the same quality. And this one right here, hear that clicking? It's like got those uh, micro switches inside and everything. And um, probably the one thing that this particular model is famous for is um, pole position. How you can play it on this thing. Because, you know, you drive around with this button here, and to turn it, you just twist the joystick. Oh, excuse me there. You twist the joystick and everything. And uh, yeah, the twisting on it is analog, so you get precise control. So yeah, pretty nice plug and play. I also came across this PS2. Of course, you know, it looks like the one I've always had, but the one that I had, the uh, drive was starting to kind of click and grind. It worked, but that was making me nervous, so I came across this. Of course, he's, once again, he, didn't, he said he didn't really care. So I took that and everything, and it runs great. And, you know, a couple controllers, and it came with the um, Scooby-Doo. Now that you see all these games, I'll get into that. Through various, um, yeah, a bit of a mess over here in the corner. Through um, just different various thrift stores and yard sales I got quite a bit of games picked up grabbed um, see I kind of think I'm standing in the light here I grabbed wings come on focus there we go legendary wings on the NES tiger heli Rocketeer. It's just one. Come on, focus. 3D World Runner. Uh, rescue. Let's see. I can't really read that. Too blurry. 
the embassy mission. Yeah, a couple of those kind of really suck. <laughs> but there are a few good titles, I'll show you. Tennis, you know, can't go wrong there. RC Pro AM, that's one that I've heard quite a bit about. It's alright, it's alright. Of course, a classic among classics. Donkey Kong, that was cool, I only paid two bucks for that. Double Dragon 2, those are all the NES titles I picked up. And of course, Double Dragon 2 is very good. Oop, well I already had Maximo, that's a mistake. No. Picked up Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This Scooby-Doo game came with that PS2 that I found, by the way. Yeah, my cousins were little whenever, you know, they got that. Chronicles of Riddick, Escape from Butcher Bay. Turtle Smash Up, Rocky, Smashing Drive. I also got my wife this uh, pink Game Boy Advance because I remember, you know, she said she saw it one time and said she wanted it and everything, and I came across this, and it's in great shape, really. Got her Xavius and Crash as well. And uh, also came a few, across a few boxed things. I went through a store for about fifteen dollars. I came across a still in its box, Odyssey two hundred. I haven't been able to play it because it is missing a certain cord, so I have to get back to that whenever I can. But yeah, there it is. You know, a bit dirty and so forth, but you know, it is what it is. Came from came from a thrift store, so you never really know what you're gonna find. You know, box is not in great shape either, but it is still there, still kicking. Now back to the plug and play. About the day after I made got all that stuff, I told a uh, friend of the family about all that, and the guy he was like, "Oh, you like plug and plays, huh? Well, I'll tell you what, you can have mine." And he gives me this, you know, still in its box and everything, Atari Flashback. I've seen this model before, and yeah, it's actually it's pretty cool. You know, I've uh, I was playing it for a couple days there. I was just going back and forth between the Namco one and this one. Yeah, it's uh, I like this one. You know, kind of looks like a 7800. And it's got its own controllers and everything, you know. It requires a power supply, but that's okay. Because, you know, batteries only last for so long. But yeah, just a quick update. And uh, better videos are coming. I'm telling you that right now. Yeah, it's all right here. Retro style. You know, 20 games built right in. Yeah. It's actually not a lot of games considering how small Atari games are. But nonetheless, it was still a pretty cool, you know, free gift. <laughs> so yeah, that's, uh, there's actually quite a bit of pickups with only, only in like a two or three week span altogether. Yeah, I can't close that, so I'll just have to do that later. Well, that's about it for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you found that somewhat enjoyable. I know I kind of just went on for a minute there, but just again, quick little update video. Thought I'd show you what I've been up to and so forth. All these uh, pickups and everything. And uh, like I said earlier, I'm finally I'm back. I'm back to making videos again. I'm gonna have them at least once a week. But also, I'm also I'm finally getting back to uh, Game Dude Matt episodes. That's one thing I've really want to get back to for quite some time. And I think I finally have found the time and so forth. I got the kind of opportunity I need to get back into those videos. So there is more to come. More Game Dude Matt. Maybe even some more Starving Gamer. Who knows? But uh, again, I'm, I'm back into this again. So thanks for watching.